Beloved, in 2 Chronicles chapter 12, the Bible says that the king of Egypt went to hire soldiers from many nations and he added them to his own soldiers. All these soldiers were so numerous that they could not be counted and he sent them into the land of Israel to go and attack Jerusalem. So the soldiers went into the temple that King Solomon had built and stripped all the gold in the temple. They also went to King Solomon's palace and stripped all the gold and took them into the land of Egypt. And the Bible says that at that time, it was King Solomon's son Rehoboam who was ruling over Jerusalem. And the reason why this had happened was because Rehoboam, Solomon's son, had stopped worshipping God. He had stopped worshipping the God that his father and grandfather King David had worshipped. And so God abandoned him. And when God abandoned him, the other nations who were enemies to the nation of Israel came into Jerusalem and attacked them and stripped all the golds that they had used to furnish the temple and the palace. When David became king over Israel, God made a covenant with him and his descendants that if they continue to worship him and obey all his commands, he will be their God. He will protect them from all their enemy nations and he will keep them safe from harm. But if they abandon him and worship other gods and do not obey his commands, then he will also abandon them and he will make their enemies come after them. And so, beloved, when Rehoboam refused to obey God's commands and he did not worship God as God had agreed with his grandfather, King David, God's word came true and their enemies defeated them and took away all their treasures. But beloved, if Rehoboam had obeyed God's word and followed in the commandments that God has given them, beloved, God would have protected them from their enemies just as he had made an agreement with King David to protect them. And so, beloved, this word of God is for you and I to know that whenever God blesses us because we have obeyed his word, whenever God makes us great and gives us our heart's desire, beloved, we should continue to serve the Lord. We should never say that we have arrived because we have gotten all our heart desires. And so we are no more going to worship God. We are no more going to go to church and praise the Lord. We are no more going to give arms to the poor. We are no more going to praise God because we have gotten all that our heart desires. Beloved, whenever you do that, you are setting a trap for yourself. You are opening up the way for Satan to have access into your life, to come and steal everything that God has given you. Because once you stop worshiping God, once you stop praising God, once you stop reading the word of God, and once you stop obeying the words of God, beloved, you remove the protection section of God from your life and which will allow Satan to come into your life. Once Satan knows that God is no longer with you, then beloved, he will just come in with all his demons and attack you. This is why it is so important that you will always be reading the word of God and always praying so that you will not give Satan access into your life. Beloved, the Bible says it in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that if you seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness then all other things shall be added unto you so beloved God wants you to continuously seek him to continuously live in righteousness everything you do must be guided by the word of God you must use the word of God as a foundation for every decision that you take this is what it means that you have submitted your life to Jesus Christ and Jesus is guiding your steps. Beloved, God says it in Psalm 91 verse 14 to 16 that he will save those who acknowledge him as God. He will protect those who love him. When they call unto him, he will answer them. When they are in trouble, he will be with them. He will save them and honor them and he will reward them with long life. 
So beloved, what God is saying is that when you submit your life to him, when you love him, when you obey him, and when you follow in the steps or the principles that he has laid out in the Bible, then he will always protect you. He will save you from harm and will not let any evil come near you. Even when the evil comes, he will always protect you from it and will not let you be harmed. So beloved, because Rehoboam disobeyed God and did not follow in his footsteps and obey his commands, God's hedge of protection around him was gone and this made Satan come into his life to destroy everything that his grandfather and his father had saved for the land of Israel. His disobedience to God made him lose the inheritance that his grandfather and his father had given to him. So to not lose the blessing of God on your life, you must continue to worship God and praise him. Whenever God raises the level of blessing he has for you, whenever God blesses you high and increases your blessing, beloved, that is when you should even increase your praise, your thanks, and your prayer to God. Because that is when Satan will be tempted to come into your life and steal all the wonderful things that God has blessed you with. So whenever God increases the level of your blessing, beloved, your praise to God must increase, your prayer to God must increase, and your giving to people must also increase. So beloved, continue to worship God no matter where you are in life so that the blessing of God on your life will be permanent. The Bible says it in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 that God is the one who makes a man rich without adding any sorrow to it. So beloved, if you do not want any sorrow attached to your wealth, then worship God so that he will protect you always.